Welcome to Trinity Pasadena Kids Corner. My name is Frances and I am going to be your host. Each week we're going to share a Bible story, do a fun craft, and say a prayer. Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about how God can inspire you to lead. For the craft, we're going to make a paper horn. Now we do have a change in the supplies you need. There is no longer a coloring sheet. The supplies you do need include two pieces of paper, one straw, one pencil, scissors, and tape. Now you can pause the video here to gather your supplies or you can pause at the end of the story. All right, now it is time to hear the story of Joshua at the Battle of Jericho. Today I'm reading the story of Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. Joshua was full of wisdom, for Moses had blessed him. And God spoke to Joshua, saying, Be strong and of good courage. I will be with you as I was with Moses. You shall bring the people into the land that I have promised them. Joshua believed in the Lord. He ordered his officers to tell the people to prepare to cross the river Jordan to take over the land. Across the river was Jericho, a city protected with high, strong walls. Joshua sent two men as spies. They came back and reported that the people of Jericho had heard about the Israelites and were afraid. The Lord spoke to Joshua where he was camped and told him all that he must do to capture the city. The Lord said, When you do all of this, the walls of Jericho will fall down. Joshua did exactly as the Lord said. Early in the morning, the attack began. First came armed soldiers, then came priests blowing trumpets made of sheep's horns. Behind them were more priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant. The rest of the Israelites surrounded the city in silence, waiting for Joshua's signal. The armed men and the priests marched around the city once and came back to camp. They did this every day for six days. On the seventh day, they started early and circled the city seven times. The seventh time around, while the priests blew and the soldiers marched, Joshua cried, The Lord has given us the city! Shout! Then all the Israelites let out a mighty shout, and the walls of Jericho fell down flat, as the Lord had promised. The people of Israel ran into the city and captured it. After the fall of Jericho, God spoke to Joshua again. Fear not, you shall lead your people against your enemies and be victorious. I hope you enjoyed that triumphant story about how God inspired Joshua to lead and win the Battle of Jericho. Now it is craft time. You can pause the video here to gather your supplies if you haven't already done that. All right, I'm going to send you over to David, who is going to show you how to make a paper horn. Hi, my name is David, and for today's craft, we will be making a paper horn. You will need two pieces of paper, a straw, scissors, tape, and a pencil. Take a piece of paper and a pencil. Place the pencil on the corner of the paper and then roll it into some sort of uh, straw, straw shape. So it's nice and round. Make sure you don't um, let it loose because then it will mess it up. Then shake the pencil out and if it doesn't, if you don't hear anything and it doesn't seem anything to be coming out, you're going to want to let go of it a little bit so it's a little bit looser and then it'll come right out. Now, 
you want to tape the little corner that you see comes off to the straw so that it doesn't get loose. Next, you want to take your other piece of paper and fold it like so. You want to cut along the seams, like put your one of your scissor blades in the middle part and then just cut along the seam. Place one of the half um, pieces of paper in front of you. This is a really tricky part. It might take you a couple tries to do this. But what you're going to do is you're going to fold it from the corner in, in a diagonal for a little bit. And then you want to turn back. Then you have it. Once you've made your uh, end part of your horn, which is really hard to make, um, you want to take your tape and just like you did with your cylinder straw, you want to tape it so it doesn't loose. Insert the uh, first tube in it um, a little ways, not too much. Then, oh wait, then you want to tape it. So it's taped. Then, this is the next tricky part. Uh, take your scissors and you want to cut your straw on a diagonal but not all the way and then you want to flip it and cut it like so so it looks like this. Then this will be the mouthpiece. And then you want to insert your straw into your cylinder straw. It'll probably be kind of big for it. So what you're going to do is you want to kind of fold it sort of like so, mash it up a little bit here, so that when you tape it, it's gonna be nice and not loose at all. And now, you have your horn. This is today's prayer. Please pray with me. Dear God, you promised to be with Joshua no matter what happened. Help me to remember that you are always with me too. Help me to follow your directions one step at a time. And to have cur the courage and faith in you that Joshua had. Amen. Thank you for joining us at Trinity Pasadena Kids Corner. Next week, we are going to talk about how trusting in God can help you overcome your fears. 
For the craft, we are going to make paper puppets. The supplies you need include one coloring sheet in the link below. Now you can either use two popsicle sticks, two pencils, or if you want to have a little bit longer stick for your puppet, you can roll up a piece of paper. So you have some options there. You'll also need crayons and markers, scissors and tape. And remember, when you finish this week's craft, please take a picture and send it on in to us at Trinity Pasadena so I can share it at the beginning of next week's episode. And remember, be mindful of your parents and siblings and don't blow that horn too loud. In today's story, we saw an example of a great leader. Did you know that you can be a great leader too? You might be wondering, how can I lead? Lead by example. And the great example to follow is Jesus Christ. And you can also remember all the stories you've been learning and all the lessons here at Kids Corner. Lead by what you say and what you do. Speak kindly to others. Be respectful, say please and thank you. And treat others nicely. Be sure to be kind to your fellow students, to your parents, to your grandparents, and especially at those times when you see other people being mean. Don't follow them. Be a leader and be kind. Peace be with you.